Looking at a Jaguar XJ6, it's a 96, 1996. That's a dent down on the body line, and Jaguars, well, they had some pretty thick metal back then. So now, if you're gonna push a dent like this out, and it's that wide open, see? There's the dent right there. What's the approach? Because if you, if you see uh, that you can buy all kinds of rods to get up inside here and push it, where would you put the rod in there? Because a lot of the times you don't really have a nice access hole to come in from. So in this case here, it's kind of wide open. So what do you do when it's wide open? I'll show you what you do. So first step is to secure the trunk with your head prop. So now it's nice and stable, really strong, and you're at eye level. That's kind of what you want. You want to be able to get your hands underneath here and then look at it this way, this way, and this way. So you're kind of all over it and your arms are underneath. So that's the right height for me to uh, get going on this. So the next step after that is to choose the tool. So right now, I'm gonna use a dent dial. A dent dial is a flat bar with a slot down the middle that bends into all kinds of crazy positions, but this one's kind of a normal position it's in. Um, you can use this to slide down the glass. You can push dents out with it. Um, in any, any which configuration you can think of, in this particular situation, this is how I'm gonna set up my dent dial to push that out. So I set up my 24 Heavy. It's a real stout, kind of the pit bull of my uh, dent dial tools. This is a really strong tool. And I set it up with a 3 8 th all thread in the middle. I got an everyday tip with leather on it. And I have the base right over there. That's what comes with the dent dial. This perfect setup is going to fit inside there and get this dent out. Just like this. have it under a lot of heat so this old paint's not going to crack as long as you keep it hot Something really important to view here in this video is right here. Look at this, I'm working on this dent, but now, look at that. I switch my head and look in the different direction. That's not easy to do if you're holding a rod and you're further back. Um, this tool enables you to lo look at it from different angles. Here's one another, here's another angle right here, pretty low, still holding on to it with plenty of power. And that's important, really, really important to be able to swing your body around and look at it in different angles while you're working on it with one tool. This came out real nice. Customers real happy with it. You know, this type of repair, you definitely don't want to um, drill holes because a lot of the times it's not necessary and it just does not look good to drill holes when you don't have to. There you go. Jaguar repair. Pretty simple to do if you have the right tools. Thanks for watching.